feet to receive. Sellout crowd expected today. And we are underway inside the Dakota Dome where it is nice and toasty. Great. Coyote showing pressure on third and long. Time for Miller. Heaves one deep and has a man. Caught. Henderson. And a first big play for the Bison all the way down in USD territory. And a gain of 37 yards. It's great protection up. Time for Miller. On the move, pass is caught. Eli Green in a first down. Now the pressure came from Gaze, and Miller brought up. It's Marshall with Miller. Miller's going to keep it. And the quarterback run needed two. Should be enough for the first down, and it is. It'll be first and goal. Rajat Nelson now the running back on first and goal. And he'll get it to the edge, tripped up there. Then it's shorter, two in red and white in Fargo. Marshall, the running back. Miller gonna keep it. And that's Peyton who just checked in. Shoved out of bounds. Virtually no gain on the play. And Roddy, third down and... Nelson in the slot. Cam Miller time now races for the goal line. Did he get there? He did. Touchdown, Bison. And a statement drive for NDSU right out of the gate. They're going to look to see if that left elbow goes down before he gets in the end zone. English. Two long pass completions of 31 and 37 yards to Braylon Henderson and Eli Green setting up Kim. Ties the running back. Time for Balbin. Surveys and heaves. Has a man. Caught in stride. Gain of 39 yards for the Coyotes. It's a really nice job by Aiden Bauman of not assuming what the coverage was going to be. He wanted to go to the flat, but it ends up being covered. Pistol look, ties the running back, play action. Bauman nearly gobbled up, dumps it off. That'll be a first down and then some. Tice corralled it, stumbles down near the 15. What pass rushers on the edge for North Dakota State. Play clock winding down. Bauman has it, buys some time. Sidearm delivery near that front pylon. And incomplete yard effort. Friendly confines of the Dakota Dome. Vastly different than what's just outside of us. South Dakota on the board at 7-3. With Cam Miller. Bison needs six. Miller. Pass is caught. Green. Two yards pass. First down yardage when they line up and dominate that line of scrimmage and execute at a high level. Play action, Miller. He'll step ahead. Fires to Green, who has it. And another big play in the passing game. Joins him in the backfield. Matt Ed said he's a freak. Ronnie Jones thinks he could be a tight end in the next level. Here come the Jets. Peyton to the house. Just because you know it's a run doesn't mean you can stop the run. Watch the left side of this offensive line. Probably a hold there on the edge by Joe Stuffel, but the two pullers come around, both of them find work, and Cole Payton is able to get the ball in the end zone. Roddy, he does not need a lot of real estate to get to that edge and make something magical happen. Quite a weapon to come off of Matt Entz's bit. While Bell is going in motion. Bell, the leading receiver. Play clock down to two. Bauman has it. Pocket collapses. The pass low to Bell. National championships. Jaden Price back deep to receive this punt. A penalty marker flies. And Price with an empty cut. Big yardage. Price into the open field. There he goes. He will not be caught touchdown bison there is a penalty mark
Whitaker down at the 30, and that flag came out right as that play began. And Matt Ent signaling, we're going to decline this in a hurry. I think I would decline it. Illegal shift. Kicking team. That penalty's declined. The result of the play is a touchdown. Get ahead, you start to feel like, hey man, we may be playing old North Dakota State. Second touchdown of the season and the return game for Jaden Price. This North Dakota State has turned the tables on USD so far in this quarterfinal. Yeah, so often you hear about out kicking your coverage. Well, what does that mean? It means kicking the ball so far that the return team doesn't have time to get close enough to the returner, and the returner has a great look at where the lanes are. He's able to make a couple of cuts. Is Jaden Price. There's some great blocking down the field. And then when it's one on one with the, an offensive lineman or the punter, I mean, it is sayonara, see you later. I've got inside the Dakota Dome. 21 to 3, Bison. Dump off is there and a first down for the Coyotes as Charles Pierre Jr. scampers ahead to the 40. Already two point. And Benson forced that fumble. Instead of North Dakota State football, it's third down and 12. Bauman on the field, Roddy, you mentioned it. Ty somehow caught it right off the turf. Well short of the line again, just a two-yard pickup on third and 12. And another punt coming for the Coyotes. Time for Miller looking long. He's going to throw one deep. Green holds it in at the 25. Right in front of Caleb McKenzie and the Bison on the move again, and that'll be a gain of 48 more. The experience go to Eli Green against the redshirt freshman. It's just a big boy post. It's a runaway route. Speed against speed, and Green. It's not negative today. Miller straight ahead. Needed a yard. Carson Williams in motion. Peyton straight ahead. And a powerful finish will make it first and goal. Position, I think at the next level, it's almost shooting as a tight end. Yeah, just a sophomore. Marshall stopped dead in his tracks. Second and goal. Full house backfield, play action for Miller. End zone as a man, caught for the touchdown. Stuffle was there and he was wide open. Here in Vermillion. Stuffle's gonna line up right here and he's just running a corner and this safety comes up to free up the route, so it ends up being stumble on a linebacker, Stephen Hillis, who's got no shot to cover the tight end. A good throw by Cam Miller. Another touchdown for the Bison. Bauman just five of 11 passing. Pressure has been a culprit there. He'll sense it, buy some time. Tice got to go. First down, USD. Big play there, and we'll see if perhaps that's a spark at the end of the half for the Coyotes. Catch for Tice for 34 yards. Three times on the ground as well so far for number five in red and white. Four men front. Play action. Bauman has a man. Corral. Phelps. Into NDSU territory. On second down. Pierre. Needed two. He stopped. Just went back to last year. And has risen from the ashes in 2023 to win 10 games. Most impressive win in school history. Intercepted off the carom. Wisniewski has it. Originally tipped by Luke Wirtz. NDSU forcing a turnover. The 19th interception of the season for the Fitz Roddy. And NDSU has been all over. The pressure gets to Bauman. A tip pass, and Wisniewski, seven picks on the Less than two to go in our first half. Empty backfield for Miller. Grab the face mask, and everybody with a football pulse knows that's a 15-yard penalty on Mike Keith's grace and a first down coming for the Bison. General foul, face mask, number 90. Defense, 15-yard penalty be added to the end of the run. Automatic first down. Grace had the scoop and score last week, a different story. 
with that sequence. Cam Miller was almost looking the other way through his helmet, looking through the ear hole. Big loss for the time being. Peyton hands it off with a jet sweep. And needing four, Bison pick up five. It's Eli Green keeps the drive going. I'll help Trevor out for his. Peyton, the quarterback. The power run. Peyton tiptoeing the sidelines into the end zone. His second rushing touchdown of the game. This time from 17 yards out and a statement being made in our first half. One of the top programs in FCS history. Well, you get two pullers, but watch TK Marshall in the backfield and the lead block that he throws on the cornerback. It gets out in front and it is a powerful finish by TK Marshall against Dennis Short of the safety. 35 to three. Back. So I think it's the same at this level as well. Alman fires a pass. It's caught by Bell. 14 seconds to go, and now in NDSU territory, gain of six. Targeted six times already. Full complement of timeouts to work with. Across the middle, ripped away and intercepted. Wisniewski again, and a new school record with eight picks. Bauman trying to spot his tight end, Galbraith, and Wisniewski said, not tonight, again. And Aiden Bauman just fall, but the catch by Wisniewski is phenomenal. I mean, this is a hands snag. Bauman staring down the receiver, slings it, but Wisniewski goes outside the frame of his body, catches it with the hands, brings two playoff games for NDSU. The Bison fans have made the quick trip down here to Vermillion. Love what they see so far. 35 to three, the score. Monumental effort, and it's gonna start on this first drive. Coyotes do get the football to begin our second half as we check in with Lauren Sisler. Back from last year's three-win team. They've overcome adversity in the past. Carter Bell catches one. There goes the leading receiver for USD. And Bell weaving his way ahead to the 31. Sam Young brought him down. It'll be... Play clock down to two. And the handoff to Pierre Jr. Wirtz stopped him. Five of nine on fourth down this season. In less than a yard here. Pierre looking for a crease secondary effort, and he got there. Not a lot of room in the backfield. Falman, quick release in zone. Back corner. Caught for the touchdown by Phelps. So you're telling me there's a chance. Bounce in three two-point conversions could get you there. Instead, it's 35 to 10. Well, it's a great throw and catch. South Dakota with finally some offensive momentum. Aiden Bauman drops it in the bucket. Really nice body control by JV on Phelps. And hey, maybe there is a chance. Coyotes have to have it. Play clock down to one. Miller gets it cleanly. Short of the line to gain is Rajon Nelson. The... Here comes the hammer. Peyton straight ahead, didn't need much. And he got more than enough. Four yard pickup, did the ball come out late? Not the flaps of the shoulder pad flopping out. It... I think you can safely assume that it was a hole. Across the middle, pass is caught. And a hard collision after the fact. Zach Mathis in that 6-7 frame breaking wide open across the middle. And a gain of 22. In this game. Pontius on the field, Jake Rock on the field. Third and two, Marshall picks up four. Or is it the doctor that orders those things? I can't remember. I thought you were going to say you ordered like 10 combo meals and it took forever for the restaurant to make them. Miller's going to buy some time and heave this one out of bounds. Now the pressure from Grace. And finally, it's fourth down and long, playing indoors. 15 of 18 on the year. Just inside the left hash. And the 
40 yard attempt on the way. And it is good. Well, the Bison response. Had an excellent season, but anytime North Dakota State comes to town, your antenna are up. And, and you know, we've alluded to this a couple of times, but. Get to the quarterback. Now the second time we've seen Jarrett Sinek. Hoist one deep and playing center field. Back there was Sam Young for the easy interception. And he stepped out of bounds on the return. It's playing halves. It's just always going to be incredibly dangerous. Sinek, the Nebraska transfer, just throws it up for grabs. And it's about, uh, it's about the easiest interception Sam Young is going to have. Oh, South Dakota State sure looks like a juggernaut. Aiden Bauman on the phone upstairs. Miller across the middle. Eli Green another grab in the first one of this. On third down, Miller. A couple of pats and a quick toss to his tight end. That'll be Williams. Miller straight ahead, a penalty marker comes in. Just think the scene in Missoula next week has a chance to be one of the all-time great moments this year in the FCS playoffs and, and beyond. Clifton Mc... Comes the Offside, penalty. number 91, defense, five-yard penalty, results in first down. Right in Webb that time. Trying to use from the Big Sky and Missouri Valley Conference that are excellent programs. Williams taking off towards the pylon, an easy touchdown. Now coming off a career high, a well to our friends at Montana. Make sure the ticket department, the athletic department, that password is is a little tougher to crack. Than simply playoffs. Password gate is my favorite thing of the college football season this year. And look, the, the people who cracked the code to get in the Dakota Dome have been treated to an absolute master. From a program that hosted its first ever quarterfinal in the Dakota Dome. A program that won three games a year ago, winning 10 this season. Little oh, post corner, there it is to Martins in the NDSU territory. There's a lot of season is they're going to lose some really big pieces, particularly defensively. I mean, those linebackers, two sixth-year seniors and a seventh-year senior at that position alone. Tice, nifty move, strong finish. Stop at the line to game. Times amongst coaching friends, you do get that. But when you're in the same conference, I doubt that happens. Yeah, I don't think so. I mean, the Missouri Valley Football Conference is hard enough. Cole Mintz brings down Nate Thomas. For all that information is null and void. And going in the offseason, they'll have enough time self-scout anyway, but nothing but respect. Sinek on fourth down. Across the middle, Carter Bell. And that's enough to move the chains. Clock continues to wind. But the USD Student Welcoming Committee, I believe. She brought us in here to the Dome, and we thank her for it. But just that brief walk, the conditions outside were brutal. And that's what the Jackrabbits had to contend with today. And they still look pretty good. I was curious what that play would have looked like. It looked like perhaps a running back pass. Second and goal coming up. Passes incomplete to Galbraith. But that was, it was a great game. Great game. And Montana's going to have some good mojo on its side playing at home. In his own mind, of course, he is. Sinek backside pressure. Ball comes out. It was caught near the goal line. And that was Monroe that had to dive coming. Third and goal again. Coyotes with one touchdown in this second half. One of the game, looking for number two. And they will get it. Charles Pierre Jr. For South Dakota, obviously the outcome probably decided at the break, but still, a couple of touchdowns, the offense operated smoother level of efficiency. It's been phenomenal, but yeah, I mean, some positives out of the offense in the second half, for sure. Does he decide to come back? Does he test the waters in the NFL? Potential late round pick? Guys like that are the ones you need to hold on to. Pedu, first down. 
That'll just about do it. A lot of talent on this South Dakota defense. Steve Hillis began his career at the Air Force. It's part of the moments of a game like this where you've got to win to keep playing, to keep your season alive. If you lose, it all comes to a screeching halt. NDSU scores on every meaningful offensive possession today. Exception of this last touch. Defense secured three more interceptions, 21 on the season. And good friends, Bob Nielsen, Matt Entz will meet at midfield. Talk things over as South Dakota's incredible 10-win campaign comes to a close. It's, it's always a shame when it comes crashing down on South Dakota, but a tremendous season for them. Should be very proud of not only their season, but the overall attention they brought to Vermillion, South Dakota. The people of South Dakota have been tremendous, but North